those same words in just a minute again, but before we do, I want to ask you tonight, if you're here and God has begun to challenge you, and you have felt the unction of the Holy Spirit drawing you tonight to a place of greater surrender, a greater confession of your desire to know more of who God is and what He's able to do. Those things that can be imparted, not just in a few minutes, but over the course of many days and weeks and months ahead. As we sing this chorus one more time, I'm going to ask that if that's you tonight, and you're feeling and thinking that, oh God, Lord, oh, I want to know more about embracing the ways of God. I'm tired of running my life according to my way. Because my ways fail on every single attempt. But submission, O oh God, to your ways brings holiness, brings healing, brings deliverance, and brings a Holy Ghost empowerment. Oh, hallelujah. Let that be. If that's you tonight, and uh, we begin to sing this chorus once more, as we do, if that's you, and you're serious about this tonight, I want you to stand your feet wherever you are. And we're going to impart the power of the Holy Spirit upon you. Amen. Think about it before you stand. Because when you say, Lord, I surrender now to you the fullness of my spirit. Get, get ready. You do that and God's going to start taking you in your word. And he'll begin to call of you a greater level of righteousness than you've ever known. He'll begin to call you to step in his pathway like you've never done. Many, many things that even I have not spoken that can only come by inspiration will be revealed to you. And if that's your heart and you're open to hear and receive the word of the Lord, you stand. And then we're going to pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One more time. Let's sing it together. Have I no way? Preserve it. You know, that's why, you know, people that can goods, they preserve them. 